come with us on day one of exploring Yellowstone National Park. If you don't know already, we're a family that lives and travels full time in our RV. When we can, we like to choose parks that are close to the things we want to see in that area. This week, we're at Red Rock RV in Island Park, Idaho. We've only been here a couple of days, but we're loving that it's only about 30 minutes from the West Yellowstone entrance. So we left the park and we headed to lunch. We stopped in West Yellowstone at the Slippery Otter and lunch was great. Then we headed to Yellowstone, which was only a few minutes away. We got a suggestion to check out this app and we really loved it. But it does pump out about 4,500. We decided to start with the lower loop and the first thing we checked out was Firehole Canyon Road, where we saw this beautiful waterfall. Next, we explored the Fountain Paint Pots Trail. And why doesn't anyone ever talk about how stinky the steam is at Yellowstone? After that, we explored the Midway Geyser Basin with the Opal Pool and Grand Prismatic Spring. And we had a coyote sighting on the way to our next stop, which of course was Old Faithful. There's schedules online and at the visitor center so you can make sure you catch an eruption. We headed back to the west entrance, but we decided to bypass it. We headed north on the upper loop and we did the one and a half mile walk along the Norris Geyser Basin. And on the way out of the park, we had an elk sighting. The sun was starting to set, so we headed out. And as you can see, the sunset was beautiful. We were starving, so we had a late dinner at Canyon Street Grill. Check back soon to see what we do on day two.